all morning. The Fox 61 Morning News starts now. And first at six, we have breaking news in West Hartford where a car crash closed a portion of Route 44 near the University of St. Joseph. Huge police presence there. We're going to have a live report in just moments. And we big right now at six o'clock with that breaking news coming out of West Hartford. I'm Erica Arias. Thanks for being with us. Yes, glad you're with us. I'm Tim Lammers. Uh, like we said, several roads closed down right in the area of the University of St. Joseph here. Let's get right out to Brook Griffin with the latest on what we know, what we don't know, what we're still trying to figure out as there's a lot swirling yeah. around here. Brooke, good Brooke, morning. what can you tell us? Yeah, good morning to you both. So within the next 30 seconds, maybe even 45, we are actually going to hear from West Hartford police. We are just waiting on a couple crews to get here and get ready. So what I can tell you so far, though, is that here on the area of Albany Avenue, we do have an area shut down. Now, it's in both directions from Colony Road all the way over to Prospect Avenue, which is almost a mile long stretch of road right outside of St. Joseph. So if you're getting out the door this morning, this is something in this area that you really need to know about steel road is also closed as well. So we do know that there was a crash here in this area around two o'clock this morning. Now police have a very large area blocked off. They are working the scene. They have flashlights out. They've used different pieces of equipment to get some evidence and things like that. So we are still working on learning more. We don't know the extent of this scene. We don't know the extent of the details. West Hartford police are working on that at this time. Now within the last few minutes, we did learn that West Hartford police responded to a report of gunfire in a parking area on the west side of the University of St. Joseph's campus. Now, at that same time, they also responded to that rollover crash that I mentioned earlier. That is something that they say may or may not be involved. They are still working on that. Now, they say that the operator of that car that did unfortunately crash, they say that that person did sustain serious injuries. We are, again, hoping to speak with police here soon. We will come back to that. We are still waiting um, to hear from them, get some more information. I'd say within the next minute or two, we hopefully will be able to come back to me and I'll give you more. Live in West Hartford, Brooke Griffin. Fox 61 News. Okay, Brooke. Well, wh while we have you out there, I know we've been saying there's a large police presence. Can't see much behind you. What can you see sort of around you? How many police officers? Can you see any crime scene tape? Just how much activity is there outside the uh, field of view for us here? So right now, there isn't a whole lot that we can see from this viewpoint. Now, earlier, we were told to keep some of our lights off because that was going to interfere with the investigations and the equipment that police are using here to look at this scene. But we have seen a few West Hartford officers. We have, there's been less, I'd say, in the last hour or so. But we also saw a bunch of emergency vehicles and maybe even some heavy equipment whenever we were at a different spot that we could see a little bit better. But again, this is the area that we are in right now. This is right off of Albany, and they do have this whole area closed. There is a lesser police presence again at this point, but still a lot of roads closed, a lot of detours and things like that. We really just don't know much at this point, but we are just we're still trying to figure it out. Back to you guys. All right, Lauren, thank, um, excuse me, Brooke, thanks so much. We're going to get to lower now to talk about some yes. of the road closures because this is happening. It's not just yes. in Albany, it's Albany near Bainton Road, yes. which is quite a bit off of the main road. Yeah, there's actually a significant portion that is closed down. So if we could bring up our traffic map so we can see exactly what we're working with for that investigation. Albany Ave from Prospect Ave all the way to Colony Road. As Brooke was mentioning in our 5 o'clock hour, that is almost a mile of a closure. There's also Steel Road at asylum that is closed currently for this investigation and West Hartford police did put out that other road that Erica just mentioned uh, Bainton Road and that is involved in this closure as well so as this unfolds throughout the morning we're hoping that these roads will continue to open because Route 44 is extremely busy now moving on here in the Hartford area I-91 I-84 all I'm looking good just, uh, oh. pause for this for a moment because they're having a press conference in West Hartford so we're going to get yeah. right back out there to that press conference of gunfire on the University of St. Joseph's campus, the Western parking lot. About the same time, we responded to a rollover motor vehicle accident on Albany Avenue near Bain Road. As a result of that accident uh, and the investigation itself, the occupant of that vehicle was transported to an area hospital uh, with serious injuries. 
the incident is still actively being investigated. Uh, at this point, there is no perceived threat to the public. We do not believe that there is any risk to people on campus or our community members here. Uh, but one thing we are asking for is our community's help. We're asking for their patience and their assistance in this investigation. Their patience during these road closures, obviously, while we investigate. And their assistance, uh, if, there are any, if there's anyone out there who witnessed any portion of this incident um, while we're out here. Uh, they can contact the West Hartford Police Department at our routine number, which is area code 860-523-5203, uh, or our tip line, uh, which is area code 860-570-8969, and WHPD tips at westhartfordct.gov. Uh, any help that we can get is greatly appreciated. Um, we, again, ask for our community's patience and cooperation while we investigate this incident. Thank you. Do you know how long the road will be closed for, approximately? I do not have that information at this point, but once we get that information, we will pass that out. And unfortunately, I'm not going to answer any questions at this point, so I just don't have uh, much more information to provide. But once we get more, we will be happy to provide you with that. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. I was just wondering, too, were the injuries like threatening to strike? All right, so just to recap, we were listening to a press conference there live in West Hartford near St. Joseph's campus. Now, the problem is what we're, we're, we're trying to find out as much information as we can. At 2.20 in the morning, there were reports of gunshots, gunfire on the University of St. Joseph's of campus on the west side. And at about that same time, there was a rollover crash yeah. at Albany near Bainton Avenue. And we're not sure if those were connected in somewhere. I'm sure that's what police are trying to figure out right now. We do know that one person was transported to the hospital. So two incidents, we don't know if they're separate or connected at this point. We have to imagine that they are. Yeah. Okay, so that's where we are at this point still. Again, probably more questions than answers, mm -hmm. but because there's two different investigations, we've got a lot of road closures. You want to get back to what you were talking about before? Um, yeah. Can we? Before we, we go can. to weather, we can yeah. quickly mention those road closures again if we want to bring up that map. So as of right now, they gave us a more broad road closure area because that's exactly where the crash happened at Bainton. But the Albany Ave from Prospect to Colony is the larger road closure at this point. We're hoping that that goes down uh, and and starts to diminish throughout the morning because Route 44 is a well-trafficked area for the morning commute. So also another one to mention is Steel Road at Asylum is also closed and this is Asylum is where the University of St. Joseph's is so be mindful of that if you are in this area. We also don't know how this is going to impact uh, West Hartford buses, possibly their yeah. schools if any of that is involved. So we are working to get that information for you. Of course we'll keep you up to date here on air online and on our Fox 61 News app. Okay, thank you. Yeah, obviously a lot going on. Okay, onto the forecast oh where there hasn't been a lot going on. Well, except well, we have some for fog. fog which There's yeah. a lot when I was driving a this morning. Big issue yeah. from the moment I left the shoreline on the way up. Uh, it's we pretty have heavy. To, yeah, it is. So here's what you need to know on this uh, Friday morning. Uh, if you haven't looked outside your windows yet, there's a lot of fog that's waiting for you. Once we burn that off, we still have a warm up planned. And in the weekend, uh, is there anything cool coming soon? talk about that. Here's your visibility or lack thereof. Anywhere between a quarter mile uh, and uh, it looks a little better at the shoreline, but like right about down Middlesex County. Uh, it's fairly thick. So the Connecticut River Valley and then pretty much widespread across interior parts of the state. Uh, surprisingly, Sam and I were just talking about this. There's no dense fog advisory up. But it's out there, trust me. 46 in Hartford, 44 in New Haven, 46 in Groton. That's about where the dew point is as well. So the atmosphere completely juiced up. Satellite radar picture, you got a light wind out of the south and west. We'd like to pick that up a bit to churn the glow clouds away. Other than that, that's the only weather issue we're going to be dealing with. Uh, we've got 44 now and still a big warm up to 70 degrees later on today and even higher for the weekend. We'll talk about that coming up. Tim and Erica. All right, Matt, thanks. 609 right now and developing out of Hartford, where a man is in the hospital with several stab wounds. Police say the stabbing happened on York Street at about 8 o'clock Thursday night. The man, the victim in his 20s, he's listed in critical but stable condition. We'll bring you any new information as it becomes available throughout the morning. Well, today, attorney Benjamin Crump and the family of Randy Cox are going to give an update on Randy's health after he was paralyzed while in New Haven police custody. Cox was hurt while in the back of a police transport van that didn't have seat belts in it after he was arrested. Cox has been getting medical treatment since uh, earlier this year after doctors said he was paralyzed from the chest down. 
All of the criminal charges against Cox that uh, came from his arrest have since been dropped. That happened at the end of last month. Now, today's event is scheduled for noon at New Haven City Hall.